Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to make, to mod, I should say, Borderlands 2 save files for the Xbox 360 and the PC versions of the game. If you're doing it on 360, you need either a hard drive transfer cable in your hard drive or just a flash drive that is configured to work with the 360. Uh, for the hard drive, go away. For the hard drive, you just plug in the transfer cable to your hard drive and then to your computer. For the flash drive, you just need to copy the game file to your flash drive and then plug that flash drive into the computer. And you'll, once you do that, you need to open up Horizon. I'll have the links to all these programs in the description of the video and just ignore this it doesn't need to be in online mode and it always pops up in offline mode for me anyway but then you hit games and Borderlands 2 and this goes for hard drive version and flash drive you have your save file here I will oh don't do that. Uh, double click on it. <laughs> I had a brain cramp for a second. I swear I know how to do this. And then you hit contents and then this is what you want here. Don't extract before because that's the container file which won't open in the modding program. But then you extract this to the desktop. Then you can extract it anywhere but desktop I think is most convenient. And that pops up saying it was extracted successfully. I'll move this here. And then you fire up Gib the Borderlands 2 uh, save edit program. And I just named this folder Borderlands 2 modding stuff. It is a little self contained program. You don't need to install it or anything. And then you fire that up. And you hit open. And for PC, it will take you to some per some file with all a whole bunch of numbers and you double click it and choose your saves and then we'll move on to the next step in a minute for 360 you just desktop and then choose your save and for both program or both versions make sure it's on for PC just make sure it's on PC then for 360 you choose X360 and I'll just choose it again to make sure. And then you open. And then you have your character here. You can edit uh, experience level and experience points. But make sure you sync it up. Because I think it will corrupt it if you don't. But you can edit how much money they have. How much. Uh, or how many fast travels they have unlocked. Um, you can edit the items that they have on them but I have no idea how to do that yet but just be careful um, in the bank you can edit stuff that's there and then the raw tab I'm not 100% sure how to use um, but then there's the about which tells about the program itself but I'll add some iridium to my siren here and then you save for PC you just hit that folder again and then choose to save but for 360 you go to desktop and you can either create a new file but I know this works I've been through it a few times just I'll overwrite it just save game then save and then yes to replace and then you can close out of that and then you go back to horizon choose your save here right click and then replace and then find your save again hit that and then hit open that says it replaced it but make sure you save rehash and resign I'll just do it a few times to be safe and then 
you can close horizon and you're good to go just always make sure you safely eject your your, your USB flash drive and that's pretty much all there is to it it's not not really difficult it's just a little bit more challenging on 360 and PC it's pretty much straightforward but as for Studio 41, make sure you like, subscribe, favorite, go through all this feel again. But thank you guys for watching, and if I can figure out how to edit weapons, I might put a, another tutorial up on how to edit weapons, because that's what everybody wants to do. But thanks for watching.